morning guys today is the last day of the month and i have a couple of things and activities that will be going on so guys um i just woke up and this is around to 10 yes please don't blame me so if you watch my my previous vlog you know that my child just had his eight weeks vaccination so all through the night it was a roller coaster because he he was really not comfortable he was in pain although he acted he acted strong compared to my sister's baby that i saw she threw up and the rest of them but my baby apart from the temperature and not being able to sleep i think he did pretty well so the night was was a little bit difficult for him coupled with the fact that i don't understand why at this point in time he's beginning to have colic I tried as much as possible to, you know, prevent all those kind of things, but it just started happening. I've been giving him infacol, I think that's what it is called, but it just feels like it's not, it's not really working. So the last few days has really been terrible for him. The, this colic, it makes him... I don't know it just gives him so much discomfort that you can hear him hear him in his sleep i feel terrible i feel bad for him i know the kind of pains he's going through he cannot even express himself like say oh, mommy this is what is happening to me but from his actions i know that he's in so much pain and i don't even know so with the temperature and the, the pain from the vaccinations that he got yesterday was a terrible night so guys this morning like i said i have a couple of things i will be doing i'll be going to the town center to get a, um, a running shoe let me tell you guys an update of what is happening before i got pregnant i was about 83 kg then from when i i was pregnant to the day i had my baby i was 87 88 kg so i remember weighing myself the day I had my baby in the hospital and I was 85 kg. Fast forward to almost two months now, I'm 90 kg. I don't understand. Like, is that terrible? I am always feeling hungry. I am always, I always want to put something in my mouth. I, I'm always hungry. Let me just put it that way. Guys, let me know in the comment section how you guys were able to, to um, curtail your appetite as a new mom because this thing is really getting me pissed. The moment I say I am going to try as much as possible not to eat today, I just find out that I begin to get too hungry and I start looking for what to eat. It's and because I'm um I'm, I'm also breastfeeding, because I'm I don't have anywhere I'm really going to right now. I I always look forward to eating. The thing is just getting me pissed. I cannot even control my appetite at this point in time. When I was pregnant, I realized that I even ate healthier than now that i've had this baby so and it's coming with with so much back pain so much waist pain it's just getting me angry so today i am going to go and look for a running shoe and i've already discussed with my husband that i must be running every day for at least one hour let me see how it goes i i'm not usually the kind of person that will say okay when it comes to um eating well or um keeping fit i'm always very very you know good at it i'm not good at it i tend to always give up maybe after two weeks but let's see how this one goes even if i keep doing it every two weeks i give up at least to an extent it's going to help me not 90 kg i've never been 90 kg in my life and i don't expect it to be now yesterday i was so angry when i weighed myself at the gp's office so in march i'm going to start um working out so guys let me not bother you people with all the things that are happening to me right now plus i don't even like this hair after making hair for almost 100 pounds guys you know what 100 pounds is almost 40 something or be 50 something thousand and look at the hair and see these are the type of things that i missed in being in nigeria you'll find somebody that will do cheap hair for you and it's very very nice 50 something thousand naira hair i don't even enjoy it i like the 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 product I used to make the hair, but I didn't like what the woman did for me. So guys, let me not rumble too much. Let me just get going. Right now, I'm trying to 
wash my baby's um, bottles so that I can put it in the microwave for it to sterilize for it to sterilize and then when my husband comes out comes back I'll probably go to the town center but while waiting for him to come back I'll be editing a vlog I hope it goes up today because I've over I've procrastinated as a result of what is happening to my baby. <music> got an account so this has taken too long and finally it is here at least I can start chopping my husband's money now he'll we'll be doing transfer pew, 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 pew. I'll be here yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh. yeah. no chocolate no chocolate To leave me with this boy that you say that it's been a terror, you better go with him. I 
I forgot to update you guys to tell you people that um, we'll be going to Manchester. Yes, so um, as an able woman, I think I'm supposed to be in my community meeting. So now that's why we are going to Manchester and it's going to be a four hours drive. So it's going to be my baby and I's first road trip in the UK here. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I'm trying to make chicken and gizzard that we'll probably eat while we are on our way there. So let me just put it on fire and then I'll go pack my baby stuff, pack my own and um, we'll be leaving around 2, 2.30. This is just 11. I'll not be going to the town centre again because my husband says for me to get um, the kind of running shoes that I want that is online, on sports direct um i have to order online so i'm going to just do it online and then pick it from the town center instead of going to the town center since the designs in store is different from the designs online so if you're wondering what town center is it is what we know as um shop right that's the mall in nigeria yeah so let me just get let me start getting ready. I have been two hours because I have to still have give him a bath and dress him up. So see you guys later. So guys, this is what the chicken and gizzard look like. Usually I will have just put all my ingredients and then leave the chicken to boil out its own water. That way my um, seasoning would enter into the chicken properly. But because I don't have that kind of time right now, I just have to put water and put everything and then I'm going to cover it, let it cook on its own while I sort out other things. And then this is my breakfast. This is what I'll be having for breakfast. I just hope that I can stay healthy honestly because this my weight thing is really an issue. The back pain, the waist pain, it's terrible. So I'll just eat and um, sort out the rest. So I'll see you guys when we when I'm probably packing or when we're about to leave here. Yeah. So guys, um, I'm sorry I was not able to show you guys my packing, but right now we're about to leave in and um, see you guys on our way. Between, what do you think about my makeup? Do you love it? I love it. I look dashing, right? <laughs> I'm blushing because I know I did an amazing job. All right, guys, see you people later. Right now, London, make the more talk. We'll be cheering now. <laughs> okay, guys, so um, we are on our way to Manchester right now. We are, we are in North London. So um, let's keep going. Guys, I'm feeling myself. Babe, uh, what do you think? I look pretty, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but this man has been blushing since like he keeps saying oh my baby you you look... nice you anymore, <laughs> he you keeps saying I, I look I look amazing and then you know while I was getting ready he just kept on asking baby get you quite eyelash again hope you put your eyelash that he likes eyelash so much <laughs> all right guys later
This London that I was here about now. Oh my god. Uh, where about now, especially black kids. Uh, where about they get easily influenced. I'm telling you. Not London now, so now one of the worst area now in London. It, it, it used to be very, very peaceful. But I'm not again. It's not now. Yeah, it, it's not it, now. it used to. Hello, guys. Be cheering. Hello, guys. So, um, good morning. Sorry, I wasn't able to update you guys yesterday. We got in so late. And uh, we didn't sleep until about 2, two like 2 a.m. in the morning. So right now, right now it's about past 8. And um, today is the day for the meeting, like I said. So I hope I'm able to vlog it and show you guys what it is like here. So this is um, about 2.11. I'm sorry I've not updated you guys. But I promise you guys, you guys are going to still love this video. I've had a lot of fun. There's been a lot of activities going on. I've been officially welcomed. And it was amazing. How about me go self? Can you imagine that kind of thing? It was so pleasing and exciting. I really loved it. So right now, guys, um, we are still waiting for... The meeting to come to an end but before it does i have someone i want to show you guys you can't believe who is going to enter this vlog a she's lifestyle. a yeah she's a lifestyle and fashion blogger guys hold on let me show you somebody i said i'm so honored honestly i'm not joking <laughs> i'm so honored to have you here guys let me show you people who this person is <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Lovely to meet all of you yeah. and lovely to be on her vlog. So. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know the almighty Julie Dynamics, uh, in fact, I don't even know what you're doing. You're not on Instagram. Just look at this wonderful human being. See how pretty she is. Oh, <laughs> I'm so honored to have you here. Please tell them to like, subscribe, and comment. Please too. do, do, do. Like, subscribe, and comment. To our too. channel. To our channel. <laughs> oh, well, our channel. Yes, our channel. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll I'm meet to meet you. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Good morning, guys. Um, hope you guys slept well. I'm sorry I've not been updating. I've been having so much fun that I don't even remember where my camera is. Yeah, it's right now we are in Bolton. Last night, I, I didn't know um, that where the meeting was going to take place was in Wigan. So from Manchester, we went to Wigan. From Wigan, we went to, we are now in Bolton. And from Bolton today, We'll be going back to London maybe tomorrow or this evening. So guys, this morning um nothing to be done. We will just have breakfast, sit and catch up for we just catch up generally. So that's just what's going to happen. Today just going to be a very lazy Sunday for us. 
before we go back home. So guys, um, I just want to comment something. I realize that Manchester is a very beautiful place. Yeah. Manchester is quite beautiful and um, the houses here are quite spacious both in Manchester, both in Wigan and both in Bolton these people have a lot of land unlike London where the rooms are like box match these people are they are balling let me just put it that way you can find a four bedroom flat let's say flat a four bedroom house for hundred thousand pounds yeah and that's how beautiful that's how cheap and beautiful it is anyways let me just show you guys um my view this morning right and there's so much sunshine this morning the weather is not too cold so let me show you guys jesus i'm still speaking i i sat with a lot of children yesterday and that's how they keep speaking like you just hear things like auntie can I have water? Um, you hear things like, no, that's my thing. You know, this. So this is back of the house we are in, in Bolton. Yeah, this is what the back looks like. That's the neighbor. This is the other neighbor. So just look at the environment beautiful very beautiful surrounding i love it i don't mind moving to moving from london to manchester or Bolton or wigan actually it's just very beautiful london is just it's just overhyped to me just very overhyped i mean just look at the view that i showed you guys it's somewhere you can want to bring up your children considering the lots of crimes happening now in london black people you know doing a lot of black kids doing a lot of rubbish snatching bags from people stabbing people collecting phones from people it's just very heartbreaking you see police arresting children of 15 years children of 10 years children of 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 12 years just because their crime involved i don't want to bring up my children in such a manner so i'm just going to talk to my husband and i don't know maybe he will try reconsidering because of the kids all right guys um i have to get going let me go have some breakfast and um still keep you guys posted yeah bless you baby Okay, guys, so, um, right now, we are in London. I didn't vlog the whole of yesterday because, um, we left Bolton about 6.30 and we didn't get home until past 12 a.m. So, it was quite a long journey for us, considering the fact that, um, my baby was very cranky and all. So... I didn't I didn't update you guys so guys um that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoy it keep watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment you know I'm going to still do other vlogs like this until next time bye